Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard Drive here at Fine Tune CB. You're probably wondering, hey, what is that? Well, it's one of those. And I'm going to try to put this video together, but I want you to pay attention to something here close first. You see what that is, okay? I want you to look real close. Right there. See the plastic sticking up where this screws up into under that and seats? See that solder joint? And it connects to that ring right there. But it's not soldered to this. Alright, let's get started. Alright, we got a serial 5000 here. This is the magnet mic, magnet mount style and or through the roof, SO239. Okay. First off, so I get this out of the way. This does not fit this. Alright, this will not fit this. Pull this off. See the nut sticking out? Forget it, not gonna work. Now that that's out of the way, now let's take a look at this. Let's remove this. This is not going to screw into this. It's a different thread. See how coarse it is? These are 3 8 24 thread per inch. There's another version of this called the 3 8 trucker. This antenna has to do with the SO239 and magnet mount. All right. So we can get that part out of the way. Let's check it out. This coax, well, most of you guys know my feelings and thoughts. Also, this way it's put together here, people that I know that use radios, this is not going to work. I do have an update for these. Some of you guys know about it. And I'll probably show another video on how we, not how we do it, but when it's completed. Will this work on this, in my opinion, my professional opinion? Yes. I'm not going to take that off. Well, anyways, this all fits here perfectly, okay? Let me find that piece now. i got stuff everywhere. This is designed to fit on there, and it does, and it does well. It, it seats and makes a nice watertight connection with this gasket. Right, so let me get this part out of the way. So let me say this, as an SO239 I wouldn't use it. With this magnet mount base and the 240 tuned, properly soldered, yeah I would use it. I would definitely use it. If I needed a magnet mount, that's what I would use. Now that we got this out of the way, alright. Okay, I got a picture of this dissected and I'll put a link below the description of another link on YouTube with this dissected with some pictures. This is actually part of the antenna. I don't know the gauge. I didn't study the gauge when I took the pictures, put it all back together. But it's pretty small. 12 gauge, 14 gauge, maybe 10 wraps. Okay. It is connected up on top. I only pulled it out a little bit so I can at least view it and take a picture. It bends down it's coiled and it bends down and soldered right here and this plate screws to the plastic inside this bottom part is not watertight however it appears to be watertight all through the top so if you wanted to make sure a very you know clean this with isopropyl or some cleaner don't melt the plastic very small bead okay this is if you want something permanent very small bead I wouldn't worry too much about water getting in here because it's not going to get down inside. Keep this clean though. Then uh, also pop these four screws, separate it a little bit. You don't want to screw up the coil that's in there. And right at the edge, right around the edge with this pulled out a little bit, if you put a very, very small bead of silicone in there, nice and clean and neat, and push it back in, put the four screws back in, tighten it up, you'd have something there. Okay? Put that back on there, get him out of the way. All right, now for this guy. Now, this is the part that won't fit the regular 3 8 24 thread. It only fits this. That's it. All it's going to fit. All right, and the way this operates is when it's loose, it moves. When you tighten it, it's, it's, it's not going to move. All right. So I would leave the magnet in its place and remove this before. This won't fall off. Before you move this, 
because when you wear this out this seal and this part of the connection in and out in and out you're gonna need a new one if this goes bad you're in trouble okay so this you can kind of clean spray out do whatever once there's tension on that and it's clean or it's, it's cleaned out it's 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 gonna connect okay so getting back to this thing I like this idea that's cool it's gonna keep water from getting down inside and always remember when you tune a stinger tune it from the top not the bottom if it's a tapered stinger if you cut the bottom and you change the taper and it doesn't have a real tight fit what happens is let me find something here this is going to be exaggeration but if the if the stinger can do this okay see them set screws physics common sense if this can move at all there's absolutely no way that those set screws are going to stay tight they're coming loose cut it from the top Okay, now if you get your antenna system tuned, uh, tighten the set screws up nice and tight, and then you might be able to put a little bit of silicone in there. No goobery looking stuff, you know, do it right. Cover them up, because once it's tuned on that vehicle, it's tuned on that vehicle. It's not going to change. If you see a change, it's probably because you're losing, you know, ground through the magnet on your roof. There's dirt or something, or you move the antenna. Put it back in the same spot all the time, it's going to work. All right, so let's do a little bit of dissecting here. Okay. Craig, I believe this is yours. Yes, I'll put it all back together. Okay, now this comes apart in the bottom. All right. If you play with this thing or take it apart, if you touch this area here, make sure that you wash it with alcohol again. All right, water is not going to get through here it's solid as a rock see it there's no holes but the flaw that I found in this if you're going to be running a lot of watts or a lot of power and or if the water can get in and I'll explain that in a minute it has this friction type of connection see the ring right there like I explained in the beginning of this video how it mates together it's like a friction connection it's not soldered to this even though there's rubber and seals and no way that water can get in here it's possible to get in here so we're going to put it all back together now there's little flat spots you usually see them right there and one on this side so you line those babies up hold it straight and tighten them up i'm going to show you something when you tighten this up it'll tighten up to that place where I explained at the beginning of the video that flat spot on the inside by that ring so the only thing that's keeping the water out from this area right here see it? Get a little gap and I'll make it bigger there's nothing besides this metal up against that plastic so the easiest way I guess if you just loosened it up to this point and again, nothing goobery. Nice little bead down in there, real small. Tighten it back up and wipe it off. You'd probably be better off. You have to consider that there are people that experience 100 and over 100 mile an hour winds, you know, for four to six hours at a time in rainstorms. Depending on where you live, you know, the type of region and season, that's a common thing that up in the air experiencing that wind you know 75 mile an hour 25 mile an hour headwind commercial vehicles see that often and again season location so that would be my professional opinion being that I've been there done that before I would not trust that right there at those speeds for long periods of time with changing weather or temperature I hope some of this was informative and again as a magnet mount I would use this with the 240 professionally assembled not just some goobered up solder job it's light fairly light the trucker version I'm sure you could just change this part out if you had them and it's gonna have a different stud here but this stud is molded or turned from this okay 
you can't just change that screw. You think they would, that way you can just change them, but then there'd be another hole. So that design's cool. Only thing I didn't like is how it mates together. It's not a solder connection. Hope that was informative. It's hard drive fine tuned cdshop.com. Click that little button. It says subscribe. Stay tuned in. Be safe out there. Click, click.